Hello viewers. Today I'm going to show you about a very cool utility uh, that comes with Visual C++ Express called Dump Bin. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin by opening the command window. And uh, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to make it easy on myself. And uh, one, maximize the window and drag it over here. And two, use the uh, at echo off command because we don't need the uh, the current directory. We don't need that info. So the first thing you're going to want to do is type in C program files or your main drive slash program files. And then uh, where have you installed Visual Studio 9.0? So I'm such a square, I happen to install it where it told me to install it. And then DC, then bin, then we need to run a special utility beforehand. If we call if we call dump bin before uh, we actually set the vent, uh, system variables for this particular uh, command set, which is uh, in VC bin, then we'll get an error. And you can run this on your own, but really that error isn't uh, isn't too clear on what to do or exactly what the problem is. So for simplicity, I'm just going to show you what to do beforehand. It's a batch file called vcvars32, and this batch file sets all the uh, variables for this instance of the command prompt. So you can just type that in and run it using enter, and it'll tell you that it's setting uh, the environment variables for uh, the Visual Studio uh, x86 tools. And it doesn't tell you that it's done, but you can type stuff in. So that means it is. And I'm, gonna I'm just going to navigate through the history of the command prompt here by using the up key. This is very useful if you find yourself testing multiple DLLs in the same directory. So I'm just going to go through here and replace vcvars32 with dump bin. Use the exports because this is what the DLL file exports to whatever uh, current application may be using it. And then we're going to find a DLL file. Now, take a guess. Which directory has over 1,500 DLLs? Windows System 32, where else? So we're just going to go to C colon backslash system32 slash and I have a DLL file I'll picked out. It's a DirectX library. So it's D three D D X nine DLL. And it'll view it for us, alright? So in case you've ever wondered, that's what you can do with this DLL. There are more below and I'll minimize the command prompt so that way you can actually see. It gives you some pretty uh, useless information in our context such as uh, all this dot data and dot uh, text stuff and you can also see all, all these methods so for example vec2 add, add adding vectors alright uh, d3dx vector3 project okay sounds more like an IDE thing uh, d3dx matrix uh, terminant etc. Alright, so in case you're developing your own DLLs or in case you want to peek into someone else's, this is a great utility uh, for developers and the curious alike. I hope you have fun using it, and this is Adam New 123456 signing off.